G'day once again, Dave with Out and About. Um, well, true to my word, uh, today we're up at Modville, um, we're on our way to Mapleton, and we're going to check out the uh, Mapleton Falls accommodation. Um, the couple that run the place, the accommodation, is uh, Steve and Jen, and um, we met them down at Cotton Tree a couple of weeks, well, months ago now, and um, they invited us up to come and join them and uh, have a look at their place and do a bit of a review. So, again, I uh, will go up there. Um, but before we do, I'd just like to point out that up there and on the street that uh, the Montville Accommoda Falls accommodation is on is actually the Smith House. Now the Smith House um, is, um, was owned by my daughter-in-law's great-great-great-great-grandfather. Um, so the six degrees of separation kicks in well and truly and uh, we do have some connections with this area now. Okay, so see you soon. So here I am outside the Mapleton Falls accommodation on the Mapleton Falls Road and we're just a couple of kilometres west of Mapleton on the Obi Obi Road. Um, quite a nice quiet little area as I say. Um, we're checked in here now and we're going to stay a couple of nights. Let's uh, have a look inside and uh, hopefully we'll uh, get to see some great views and some sunsets like you're getting in the camera right now. Jen tells me that this accommodation used to be part of the workers cottage that was attached to the pineapple farm that was here. So uh, uh, yeah, it's a much nicer I think than a pineapple farm but um, still we've got the legacy of the accommodation that's here and uh, some great views and that sort of stuff looking out to the west. I'm walking now down around to the back of the accommodation. The accommodation block is actually two floors and on each floor is a two bedroom and a one bedroom uh, room. So that means that they've got four bedrooms, uh, double beds, single beds, configurations, and uh, you can go into the details on their website and have a look at that. Um, very nice. We're down here in the uh, one bedroom apartment and I've got some great views from there. It's really nice. There's a, there's a communal area at the back here uh, where you can go and sit down and uh, have a bit of a relax in the outdoors or just uh, have a look around the gardens and uh, check out this amazing view. Well, we came up here yesterday to Mapleton to visit Steve and Jen at uh, Mapleton Falls Accommodation and um, we've uh, fallen in love with the place. We've enjoyed visiting Mapleton itself, going to Flaxton, going down to Montville and uh, meeting all the characters, having a chat with uh, Steve and Jen obviously and uh, even last night meeting Pris and uh, the lovely Indian lady who runs the local pizza shop and they made lovely pizzas, beautiful stuff and uh, had a great night. Then uh, today we've met uh, Lena, uh, the uh, lady who works with G Steve and Jen and um, found out how, what a pivotal role she plays in a lot of the accommodation around here and uh, we then travelled on. We even met up with George, the owner of another um, accommodation area down the way, Secrets on the Lake and uh, had a chat with him about his area and accommodation and reception area and that sort of stuff. So, uh, and I think that's an important thing about up here in uh, Mapleton is the fact that a lot of the, um, the longer standing accommodation places up here know each other and they bounce off each other and they've got a bit of a network going. So if you've got an accommodation need and uh, it's not being able to be met by one or it needs to be supplemented by another, they'll put you onto that. In fact, John, uh, George made the in, uh, interesting comment about uh, the impact of Airbnbs and how many hundreds of them were up here and even B&Bs, um, but not being traditional um, uh, not being traditional uh, management type roles up here and being people who own a, own a house that live away from here, there's the same network doesn't exist 
and the same um, community of accommodation places and that sort of stuff exists. So yes, you can use Airbnb, you can use a bed and breakfast and that sort of stuff, but I think you'd get that little bit extra coming up here and staying in one of the accommodation areas. So would we come here again? Yes, yes we would. Um, and if you contact Steve and Jen, they've got another place that uh, they can put you into, or there's the four units that they've got on the property we stayed at. And if not, uh, there's something not liking, not to your liking, then uh, there's another place around the corner, I'm sure, that would meet it. Um, just on that, when you do ring Steve and Jen, uh, if you have requirements like there's a group of you, or you want to get away quietly, or you want to bring a pet and that sort of stuff, they can cater for that sort of stuff. Um, if you're allergic to pets, then they can even put you in accommodation that's never had a pet in it, uh, or make sure you're not there when pets are and that sort of stuff. So, yes, come on up, um, but please do what Deb and I have done, and that is we found a real benefit in coming up here on a weekday. Um, it's a lot quieter, the hustle and bustle isn't there, the cars aren't in the marketplaces and that sort of stuff. Yes, it's quieter, but people have time to talk to you, have a chat, and uh, I think that's what getting out and about is all about. So thanks till next time. My next visit now is the camping show, the caravan and camping show on Friday I'm going. And then after that we're doing the gorge as I put in our calendar. So Steve, Jen, thank you very, very much for having us and putting us up. And Lena, um, thanks for the, for the fantastic um, uh, conversation this morning and the uh, happy spirits that you bring into our lives. And uh, if you're watching, I hope you get to meet these people and have a chat yourselves. Till next time, see you again, out and about.